Hi everyone, Eric Vanderwall here from the Nervos Foundation. I'm the head of developer relations and you are at Blockjam 2022. Now, I just wanted to run over a couple of things before Blockjam, the game jam aspect of it started off. So please pay attention and check this out if you're gonna do the game jam section because we're gonna go over a couple of the rules and the things you need to know. And I don't want you to miss them and maybe not qualify for one of the prizes. So let's just take a quick look at the uh, itch.io landing page for the actual game jam part. Here we are on the itch.io page for Block Jam 2022. If we scroll down here, it's actually starting pretty soon uh, officially on my local time here. However, how we're doing the time zones this year is the same way I normally do them with other game jams is we're going to start on Monday. This would be June 20th, 8 p.m. your local time. It's difficult to get everyone to start on the same time zone because we're all over around the world. So this is a bit of an honor system. Please go ahead and start at 8 a.m. Monday, your local time. It's exactly 14 days long. So that means it's going to end on July 15th, Monday, 8 a.m. your local time. So that means you can work through Sunday night if that's your your desire to do so. Now, just talking about a couple of the really important things right off the bat, if you were not available for the two days of conference talks, you might want to go check some of those out. I'm going to add a list here on this page of the ones that I suggest you strongly check out if you are new to uh, doing any of this. And I'll just list off three or four to help kickstart you into doing this quicker if you missed it. So go ahead. And here's the big rules. So uh, you can use any game engine. However, most of the talks were geared towards using the Unity game engine. You can use Playmaker or any other visual scripting tools. Submissions must use the Nervos blockchain in some way. So I'll get back to that in a second. You can work alone or in a team. One project per person or team may be submitted. So there's two tracks. You can only submit to one track. You can't submit to both. Um, please follow our, our code of conduct, which is below. And we strongly advise you to check out some of the talks. Okay, now the, true, the two tracks. We have track one and we have track two. So track one is we want you to create a new game, gameplay loop or tool in Unity that creates uh, the integrates with Nervos Godwoken, that's our EVM L2, in some way. So this has to be from scratch, and this is the important thing, that you create a new project from scratch that you didn't start before the game jam. You must share your code on GitHub or somewhere else um, for the judging period at least, so for those the uh, week or so after this, but it does not need to be open source. So you can retain your own license and ownership, but you do need to show the code for the judging period. So this is judged by public votes, and that means you, you get to vote on your own game and everyone else's game. So make sure that you come out and vote after as well, and we'll encourage the community to do the same. So we have two uh, prizes here. We have a 1,500 and, uh, sorry, 15,000 and 5,000. And this is paid out in USDC or CKB. It's up to you, it's your choice. If you don't know how to cash out your CKB or your USDC, I will help you. I will help you personally, you contact me. I, when we pay out to you, I will ask you. So if you're new to crypto and you want to cash out, then again, ask me and I will give you some advice to do that. So don't be uh, worried by that. Okay, the next track here is add blockchain to an existing game or project. So a lot of us have half finished games or projects or things we use for other hackathons before. You can go ahead and start right here and add some type of blockchain technology to your existing game. Of course, at the same time, you need to use Nervos, uh, Godwoken EBM in some sort of way. And in this one, you do not need to show your code on GitHub for the judging period because you may not want to open up your, your game code. And I understand that. Again, we have 15,000 and 5,000. And for both of these, how do we know that you've used uh, the Nervos Godwoken blockchain? Well, we need the contract address. So if you deployed an NFT contract or an ERC-20 token contract or used one of the existing sample contracts, that's fine. We need to know the deployment address and that should be easy because you need to use it in your game and we would like to see your contracts so those two things okay we have some really cool bonus bounties and we even have more coming up so i'm just going to talk about the first two that are listed here so this is by team diginatus this is a 
an amazing esports team. So go ahead, check them out and find more about this. And we've deployed a series of NFTs for them. And you need to use those NFTs in your game in some fashion. And then they're going to actually judge this themselves. So the contract address is not ready. It will be here soon. It will have the address and the, the code. So you can go ahead and use that in your game. Now it's a pretty cool prize. We're giving away five Nintendo Switches plus games plus five games and up to five bounties are available for this. And this is available if we can ship it to you. If we can't ship it to you, then we will give you equal value and gift cards. Make sure that you use your correct email address when submitting these things because that's how we notify the winners. Now, another awesome bounty here is Filecoin. And there are two talks, one talk by myself and one talk by Filecoin directly about using NFT.storage. So go ahead and check it out because we exactly teach you how to do this into your game so you can qualify for this bounty like we give you the code and everything so there's no reason you shouldn't be able to apply for this one and i won't go through all of the judging criteria but it comes down to how awesome is it and they are also giving out quite a bit here they're also giving out fifteen thousand dollars worth of prizes so that's also awesome we have one more bounty that hasn't been added yet and this is by chain safe sdk so this is the sdk that links or one sdk that links unity and nervos game uh sorry nervos blockchain together so we will add this here as soon as it comes out now rules we'll go over this really quickly but um, all the bounties are judged by the people who are giving the bounties. Otherwise, track one and track two are judged sort of by your peers, the community, and yourself. So go ahead and make sure that you vote. Everything is ranked by judging, so you'll be asked to sort of enter the rank for these from uh, zero to five. But use of blockchain, gameplay, visual impression, audio, and creativity. So we suggest using target platforms as WebGL or PC, because if other people can't play your games that you submitted, it's hard for them to load, then they're not going to play it and give it a judge. So that's not cool. Um, you need to submit during the game jam window. Itch has an upload limit of 750 megabytes, so keep that in mind. If you have a slow internet connection, you might want to upload to Dropbox first, and then Dropbox can transfer over to Itch directly. Uh, again, it says remember to write down the contract address deployed for Game Jam. So this is your smart contracts, and you should also keep a copy of those smart contracts. Uh, lastly, during the submission, you'll be asked for which track and bounty you're applying for. So keep that in mind because you got to say this is track one or this is track two. This is the bounty I'm applying for. You can apply for as many bounties as you want. You can only apply for one track, track one or track two. Now, there's also supporting documentation here, how to get in a hold of people at Chainsafe, how to get a hold of us, how to get a hold of people at NFT.storage, as well as Filebase. So remember that there's a very simple code of conduct for this. Please be nice to each other. Please um, be nice to yourself, of course. And you know, if you can follow that, then that's our, our code of conduct. Now, go ahead and give the fine print a read. But it basically says, you know, how we will give out the prizes and, you know, that that type of stuff. So go ahead and give it a read. So it looks long, but you can read through it pretty darn quick. Now, if you're looking for support, you're looking for a team to, you know, join. If you want to just chill and enjoy the projects and the building process, go ahead and join us on Discord. You can click the link here and I'll bring you to the Nervos Discord. We will have specific channels for that. Um, lastly, let's see here. Um, yeah, I think this is an important one. Uh, before the deadline, if you have any questions about the rules or anything you feel is ambiguous, you know, please submit us a uh, written request for clarification. It means come and contact us some way. Uh, the Discord is fine as long as you get a hold of us. Then, you know, go ahead, come, ask questions, and we're happy to talk with you. So, again, this is the rules and the the whole shebang here for our block jam 2022 we're really looking forward to your submissions and hanging out chilling together talking seeing where this whole blockchain gaming thing brings us so good luck everyone and i will see you soon